Na ekskluzivnoj prezentaciji Smart Elektro u Ženevi veliko zadovoljstvo je da razgovaramo sa gospodinom Ruvenom Rempom, product managerom Smart Electric Drive. Hello, Mr. Remp. Hello. How are you? How are you sitting in the car? You see, I'm 194 uh, and actually it's quite uh, comfortable to sit inside. So it's surprisingly, surprisingly big. Absolutely. So, before we go to drive, question of all questions concerning electric cars. Let me How... guess, it's the range. <laughs> of course. How far can we drive? Uh, if you actually already look at the instrument cluster, you see the 156, which is uh, indicated there, which okay. is uh, the range that you that you have. That's uh, let's say the maximum uh, that we can that we can guarantee. Uh, in reality, if you have your air condition on and if you drive a bit more dynamic and we want you to have fun uh, inside the car, uh, you will be around 110, 120 kilometers of range. We know that our customers, in average in Europe, drive 35 per day because usually... Only 35 per day? Only 35 because Unbelievable. usually... Unbelievable! Yeah, it's, it's not so much. Because the Smart uh, usually is not uh, the only car in the household. So many customers have two or even three cars. And um, the Smart is radically used for the city. This is how the car is positioned. 269 long, turning cycle of 695. It is made for the city and 110 kilometers of driving range in a city uh, is actually quite a lot. I think in some cities um, the day might not have enough hours to drive 110 kilometers in the city. What is the price of this car? We start in Germany uh, with 25,200 euros uh, including uh, tax. Uh, in Germany we have um, a subsidy in place at this point in time of uh, 4,400 euros. That means the starting price for the electric convertible is just under 21,000. Um, and you already get uh, uh, air condition, you already get a radio. Uh, Which you, you have to your... switch off if you want to spare some energy. Uh, yeah, but uh, <laughs> depending on how, how far you want to go, uh, we of course recommend uh, to have it on eh? because it's uh, nice to of course enjoy a cool ride and not uh, be sweating inside the vehicle. Okay, what is the most expensive uh, part in, in an electric car? It is very easy to answer, it is the battery. Uh, Why? The, the battery is uh, where the highest costs are at this point in time. Uh, if you compare the combustion engine car with the electric vehicle, uh, the normal powertrain components like motor and gearbox um, they are actually much simpler and they are with much cheaper. Um, it, is, it is the battery. And this is also where we see that the subsidies given at this point in time are a kickstarter for the technology to bring cars on the road to also have them with um, a higher numbers of uh, vehicle plant. Uh, let's say uh, good arguments in your hand when you uh, discuss with the battery suppliers um, and the more batteries uh, they, uh, the suppliers produce the less the cost of the single kilowatt hour is. Um, I don't want to speculate with you how quick it can drop but we are, we are, est we are estimating it's going to be quite quick um, and as soon as batteries get cheaper subsidies will then also run out um, but we will have then the opportunity to price our vehicles on the same level like our combustion engine cars. So today. no subsidies, no sales? Uh, not necessarily. Um, uh, I think uh, in some areas, uh, for example, our car-to-go uh, fleet, uh, electric vehicles are in general making sense. Uh, I think things moving in general in the direction of e-mobility, what we see, markets where subsidies are in place, uh, things switch dramatically. Thank you for this conversation. Let's see how does it look like in reality. We will. <laughs> we will. Okay. So. Is Already it okay? good to go. Let's go. And break off. Okay. And we go. We go off. The silence is great. The huh? Silence is great. I think this is our way out.